Hello everybody, it's time to check the knuckleheadism in America today. Let's see what we've got. Nancy Pelosi, right at the top of the list. She says the USA does not have a female president because of misogyny, bigotry towards females. And Hillary says that it's because of gender bias. Listen up, you two harpies. Try putting up a decent, honorable female candidate that Americans would be proud to have representing them and watch what happens. Oh wait, you have no decent, honorable candidates. <laughs> I guess it must be the voters' fault. It couldn't possibly be because you two have lower approval ratings than Charles Manson. <laughs> and speaking of Charles Manson, Hillary says she is the most investigated innocent person in America. Hillary Clinton has never been investigated. Even when she was subpoenaed to Congress, they were afraid to put her under oath. They deliberately set that Benghazi hearing up so that she could lie with impunity. Hillary has never been investigated. The American people now know who the most investigated innocent person in America is, and that's Donald Trump. Who else could survive a sadistically intrusive two-year-long investigation and not have a single criminal offense found? If they had even found where he had littered, that's all we would have heard for the last two years. Hillary couldn't survive a two-minute investigation. Uh, Andrew Napolitano says that Chuck Schumer's threats to the Supreme Court do not rise to the level of a crime. Well, <laughs> Napolitano finally got one right. I saw Schumer's comments, and while they were unprofessional to the max, he is a Democrat, but they were not something that could be prosecuted. Of course, Judge Napolitano has come out in the last couple of years as a flaming left-wing political hack. So his Schumer opinion may just be him mouthing the Democrat line, but could also be that Napolitano accidentally got one right. Mitt Romney, <laughs> the most hated Republican in America, is declaring that the investigation into Ukraine criminal corruption is political, blah, blah, blah. Romney's son is in that up to his eyeballs, right along with Biden's son, and is probably going to trace right back to Mitt Romney himself. And that tells us how much we can trust Romney or Biden. Speaking of Joe Biden, the child-loving, hairy-legged bumbler says he can't wait to debate President Trump. <laughs> yeah, Joe, we're all looking forward to that. Hey, President Trump, I suggest that right in the middle of the debate, ask Joe if he knows what city he's in. An American Airlines mechanic was sentenced to three years in prison for trying to sabotage an airliner. It doesn't say much about the suspect, but we do have his name, Abdul Majid Maruf Ahmed Alani. Gee, can't imagine what his motive could have been. Barack Obama, <coughs> AKA President Jihad, was clearly an enemy agent, and in my humble but correct opinion, he should be doing hard time in Guantanamo. Anyway, Obama issued orders to federal law enforcement as soon as he was sworn in as president. Any federal agency that wanted to raid a mosque had to give the mosque 30 days advance notice. Somebody please tell me that that suicidal executive order has been repealed. Looks like the Democrats never learn. Elizabeth Warren, who was gloriously busted, claiming to be Native American, even though her pasty white skin says otherwise, has angered legitimate Indian tribes all across the nation. Her pathetic apologies were vague and insincere. She wasn't sorry she did it. She was sorry she got caught. Well, the Democrats are ignoring the anger of the Indian tribes and, believe it or not, are forming a brand new fake Indian tribe called the Lumbi tribe a tribe that never existed, kind of like the Palestinians in Israel, invented out of thin air for political purposes. Democrats hope this new tribe will allow them to get away with Elizabeth Warren-style lies in the future. They never learn, they never repent of their ways, they never apologize. They just invent new ways of doing evil. Seems like there's a Bible verse about that. And speaking of the Bible, you know why we call them flaming liberals? It's because we know their future. Uh, Georgia is making a terrible mistake. They're passing law that a man accused of rape can no longer confront his accuser. 
That is a basic constitutional right, and this is one of the worst possible scenarios for that law. While I'm certainly sympathetic to women who have been legitimately assaulted, sadistic women have learned how to cry rape simply to get even with a man that they're mad at. Rape statistics show an alarming number of fake rape claims, and a man falsely accused must be able to confront his accuser in court. Do not let evil women hide behind their fake tears as a weapon to destroy the life of an innocent man. The Constitution must stand. And the accused must have the right to confront their accusers. Yeah, Elizabeth Warren is out as a candidate, but she is withholding her endorsement. She says she needs more time to think. In Democrat ease, that means she's holding out to see who will pay the most for her endorsement. Elizabeth Warren is thinking. <laughs> well, I guess it's never too late to start. This is Wild Bill for America. This has been Coffee with Bill. Thanks for watching, and America bless God again.